Hi everyone, this is welcoming you back to Visa Pathfinder's channel. If you're looking to migrate to the UK, Canada, US, Australia, New Zealand, among others, you are at the right place. Please like and share our videos and hit the subscribe button and let us be part of your success story. So today we shall be talking about the timeless debate of whether to move to Canada or to the United States. This debate has intrigued many for generations and this is because both countries offer unique qualities and advantages. And deciding where to live is a complex one actually. So in this comprehensive comparison, we will explore the various aspects of life in Canada and in the US, shedding light on the key differences and similarities that can help you make an informed choice. So number one, looking at the education, the cost, scholarship, and progression after your study. So when it so comes to education in both countries, so there is a lot of similarities. However, the differences emerge in the university systems. In Canada, the average tuition are notably lower than in the United States, offering a more affordable option for students seeking higher education. Top universities in Canada include the University of Toronto, McGill University, the University of British Columbia, the University de Montreal, and the University of Alberta. While in the U.S., top universities include, include Harvard University, Stanford University, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is called the MIT, the University of California, and the Columbia University. So when it comes to the number of universities available in each of the two countries, so there are a lot more number of universities in the U.S. as compared with Canada. And the universities in the U.S. are better recognized globally and well-ranked as compared with the, with the Canadian universities. In Canada, the pathway to permanent residency is more seamless as compared with that of the US. And when it comes to the scholarships and financial aid opportunities available, there are much more opportunities available in the US as compared to Canada. So generally, the choice between the two countries ultimately would depend on your educational goals financial situation, in most cases, these are factors that would really determine what you go for. So talking about healthcare, talking about the healthcare system. So in the United States, the healthcare system is via the employer's private health insurance and the healthcare expenses can be slightly higher. However, in Canada, there is a government funded health insurance and for uncovered services, Canadians buy private health insurance to fill those gaps in the coverage such as dental and vision care. Meanwhile, in Canada, there may be longer wait times for certain procedures. Overall, the health care system is highly regarded and provides a good standard of when care. When it comes to safety, generally, there are a lot of cities and neighborhoods that are considered unsafe, sort of. In any country or you know there are kind of some higher crime rate in some than the other but Canada seemed to have better safety because largely due to greater accessibility to guns in the US which make more shooting occurrences happen in the United States so talking about the population versus the employment rate so the United States our Census Bureau which is called the USCB a principal agency in the United States of Federal Statistical System, which is responsible for producing data about the American people and the economy. Had an official estimated uh, resident population of uh, 333 million plus people living in the U.S. as of July 2022. Although the 2020 U.S. Census showed that the U.S at slightly over 331 million people across all the 50 states, including the national capital of Washington. With California, Texas, Florida, and New York being the four biggest states, having populations over 39, 29, 21, and 20 million respectively. Meanwhile, Canada is a country of 10 provinces and three territories. The country had their last census in 2021, with nearly 37 million people living in, in the country at that which time. It's not up to the population of the most populated state in the U.S., and that is California. 
Ontario, Quebec, British Columbia, and Alberta provinces have the highest population of 14, 8.55, and 4.2 million, respectively. Statistics show that according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics that the latest that the U.S. unemployment rate is around 3.8%. While the Statistics Canada revealed that the unemployment rate is around 5.5% as of September 2023. So let's talk about climate, weather, and nature in both countries. The United States and Canada boast vast and diverse landscapes, uh, providing uh, varying climates and natural beauty the U.S. generally experiences warmer weather and higher population density than Canada. Although, Although it appears that more parts of the U.S. experience hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, and more as compared to Canada. Canada offers its unique natural wonders and outdoor recreational opportunities. Winters in most of Canada are quite long and super cold, with prolonged snowfalls across different regions in the country. In some parts of Canada, in the winter, Temperatures can to as low as minus 45 to minus 50 degrees Celsius. And that is mostly in the month of January. The coldest provinces in Canada include Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. While the coldest states in the U.S. include Alaska, North Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, Maine, Wisconsin, Idaho, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Michigan. The states of Alaska and North Dakota can experience a weather as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius in the month of January. And when it comes to the top beautiful cities in Canada, include Quebec City, Ottawa, Toronto, Vancouver, Calgary, and Montreal. However, in the U.S., cities such as New York, Chicago, Seattle in Washington, Boston, Honolulu and San Francisco are actually magnificent in the US. So when it comes to visas, immigration, and pathway to citizenship, the US the immigration process can be sometimes complex with a not so easy citizenship process, which can be challenging to navigate sometimes. The most common visas in the US include the F1, the J1, M1 students, or exchange visitors visas as well as the E1, E2 visa uh, for employees and the and visa for spouse of a U.S. citizen. In contrast, Canada has a more streamlined system, particularly through the express entry points-based system, making it generally considered more accessible. Most immigration routes in Canada can lead to permanent residency and citizenship, and that is usually within three to six years. And that includes the Express Entry, Federal Skilled Worker Visa, Provincial Nominee Programs, the Family Sponsorship, Visitors Visa, Student Visa, Business Immigrant Visa, among others. So when it comes to better paid jobs in both countries, while the differences aren't that large between any amounts in Canada and the US, Americans generally have higher average salaries than typical Canadians. So in a nutshell, so living in the US or Canada, it's actually up to your personal preferences and priorities. So you have to weigh up the benefits and drawbacks to make your decision on which is better for you to migrate to. If you find this information very valuable and you're eager for more most updated information and immigration tips to successfully migrate to these so countries, then like and share our videos and kindly subscribe to our channel. Please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section. However, if you still need help with specifics or some individualized services in particular, please feel free to email us at visapathfinders at gmail.com. Thanks very much for watching and thank you for your support always. See you some other time. Thank you and bye-bye.